Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Alana and today I have a empties video for you. I'm sorry it's been so long. I have had a break. I needed some time over Christmas, New Year's to just spend some time with the family. We went on a little holiday. We had a wedding. We had all the festivities and I just really needed a little bit of a break to catch up with the family, spend some quality time, enjoy the summer. But I am back and ready to go. I am super excited to be filming this for you today. I've been looking forward to sitting down, having a chat with you guys. Let's get stuck into my empties. Okay, let's dive in. The best part about filming this today is I won't have this little bucket of rubbish or recycling <laughs> sitting in the bottom of my bathroom lots and lots of empties to share i'm just gonna go in randomly and talk about them as i go so first things first is a hair product it's got to be guardian angel heat protectant spray um look this one is cool i use it all because i hate wasting products um it smells nice pretty look Correct me if I'm wrong, but I just feel like heat protectant sprays, um, I'm neither here nor there. Are they doing something? Are they not? They smell nice. They make your hair smell nice. But are they actually protecting our hair? I assume they are because, you know, but I just, I don't know which ones like are making a difference and which ones aren't. I kind of just buy whatever's on special at the time, which would have been this one at the time. Um, I understand I should be protecting my hair and that's why I'm using one. Fill me in if you have a good one that you actually think works and is really like essential in your hair care. Let me know. Okay, if you've been on my channel before, you would have seen me talk about these. I love these and I won't stay here long because I do talk about them all the time. But they're the Olay Daily Facials Water Activated Dry Cloths. I love these. I use them every day that I am wearing makeup. These are little wet wipes, they come dry. They're a decent size, plenty big enough for <laughs> the removal of makeup. And you just run them under a bit of water, rinse it out, squeeze it out, and then, you know, take your makeup off. So they are kind of similar to your, your normal wet wipes, but I think they are much nicer, luxurious, a bit more of a treatment, if you will. I love these. I buy them half price whenever they're on sale at, usually at Priceline. Chemist Warehouse didn't stock them. I don't know if that's changed now, but initially they were just at Priceline. But I only buy them half price. And then if you buy them half price, they're sort of around a similar price to your normal wet wipes, but a lot more luxurious and lovely okay this purchase was a pure impulse buy because Jacqueline Hill told me it was amazing and she did not lie this body butter oh my god she's all gone it is cool it's Kiehl's um creme de corpse which is a bit of a daunting name <laughs> soy milk and honey whipped body butter and it is heaven the smell it's just divine but the texture is what gets me i have never really had a body butter with this texture it is a whipped consistency light fluffy almost good enough to eat you would think but it is such a dream on the skin doesn't leave you sticky or tacky and just heavenly moisturizer my only real sort of con on this one is the fact that i did tear through it incredibly quick I don't know if it's because it is whipped, it's not as dense, you use a bit more and you get more, I don't know, you tear through it somehow, or maybe it's just because I loved it so much, I'm not sure, but I did manage, I think it's because it's not as rich, you need a bit more maybe, I don't know, but I really got through this one a lot quicker than I would a normal body butter consistency of that size, because that's a decent size, so keep that in mind because she ain't cheap she ain't cheap i think she's around 69 dollars or something like that i'll pop it on the screen but yeah she's not cheap so it is an indulgence it is a dream but it's a little bit pricey and i probably won't i probably won't purchase this one again 
Okay, two regulars, another one I won't stay here long. These I tear through every single empties. I go through a pair of these probably about once every three months. It is the caffeine solution and the hyaluronic acid. I use these every single day, day and night. So what I do is I pop on the hyaluronic acid Oh, by the ordinary by the way to put on the hyaluronic acid every single morning and evening before my skincare without fail and the caffeine solution i do the same but only on the eye contour area every morning every night underneath my eye cream that of choice for the day so these two are stunning love them can't live without them as soon as they run out i run along and Get some more because they are so cost efficient. You don't even need to worry about a sale or what have you because like I think the pair is twenty dollars, something around something around that price mark. So that is crazy good and good solid products, no frills, just great little products, and I do feel a difference, especially I in general, I just feel a difference when I've run out and I'm lacking so. They are essential right or dies for me. While I'm on the ordinary, another one I ran out of is the vitamin C cream. This is kind of strange consistency and I'm not sure if I'm a fan entirely, but I do feel it is good. I'm just not a fan of this smell consistency or anything like that, but I think it's a solid wholesome product for a really, really good price. Um, it tingles a little bit, probably not for the sensitive skin people out there, but it is a good product. I'm, look, I think we're all led to believe that vitamin C's are serums generally, they're orange and they smell divine, smell like oranges. Like, I know that's all a load of crap, and this is a really pure sort of form of vitamin C that is just not glamorous at all. and and has all the good things in it that are effective more so than those perfumed serums that probably cost triple the price but yeah I'm just I'm not a fan I buy this once in a while this isn't my first tube of this and it won't be my last but I'm gonna have a break okay <laughs> I just feel when I wear it it's very strong and it's very um it kind of makes my skin feel bit grainy it's got a grainy consistency but yeah it is a effective solid product though so okay another body butter this one is lime bounty from lush this is bliss this one is a little bit more stickier it is a little bit more sticky consistency so you can't really pop this one on and jump into bed because you will feel a bit icky unlike the body butter the whipped butter one you can honestly douse yourself in that jump into bed and you still feel like heaven but this one is a thicker richer consistency but probably um you know maybe a bit more nourishing I'm not sure which one was more nourishing for the legs but I did love the smell and this one I sort of popped on in the morning on my legs especially the area that I'm the most dry <laughs> but yeah it's a divine divine smelling anything lime i love okay another quick lush product is the dream cream i just got this in a small size i think this was actually a part of a package that i received from some work colleagues it was part of a gift pack but i really loved it so i wanted to talk about it it is a no frills moisturizer cream um and smells dreamy and just a really beautiful solid moisturizer that leaves your skin feeling nice and supple so that one is really pleasant and i would definitely consider getting this in a big size and just having it for an everyday cream it is stunning stunning cream okay this one i don't even know how i got it i don't remember buying it i think it came in you know like one of those things <laughs> if you ever buy a whole heap of crap from um priceline they give you bags sometimes with like heaps of samples and like little trial sort of mini sizes this is a 30 mil size of the John Frieda Frizz E's Secret Weapon. Let me squeeze a little bit out so I can remember. Because some of these things have been in this tub for, you know, a few months now. So, okay. Oh, yeah. This smells nice. This um is sort of just like a finishing cream that sometimes I pop on my flyaways. Because I kind of just enjoy my hair to be 
you know, on the flat, sort of boring side. <laughs> and I don't like too many flyaways, especially around my face, because then they do my head in in my face. Um, but yeah, so I used to sort of use this a little bit um, just after I'd use my tool, whether I was curling or straightening or whatever, and then just sort of go over the flyaways um, to sort of just tame it down a bit, because um, I don't like too much volume. But yeah, solid product. Don't know if I'll buy it. Probably won't. But, you know, if I get little trial sizes like that, I'm going to use them, aren't I? Okay, now this one um, still has a little in it, but I thought it was going a bit bad. So this is the La Roche-Posay Athelios 50 Plus Invisible Fluid Lightweight Sunscreen Non-Shiny Finish. This stuff is golden. I love this because you can pop this on and put makeup pretty much straight on top. I usually wait a few minutes. I sort of chuck this on after my skincare, go do a couple of things and then come and do my makeup application after this is sort of set in a bit. I don't know if it makes a difference, just feel like it does. Gives it time to sink into my skin and put up those protective layers. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this, that whenever I do leave the house, I chuck this on. Well, not this one, the new one I bought, because I do feel like it was getting a bit old and gross. But yeah, it's not cheap. It's like on, on the sunscreen sort of side of things, it's definitely not cheap, but it doesn't break out my skin. It sits well under makeup, so those things are crucial crucial for me so I will pay to have everything stay in place because I feel like some sunscreens you pop on pop your makeup on and your face just freaking slides around your makeup I mean not your face <laughs> your makeup slides around all day in the heat and it's gross so this one I love highly recommend if you want a sunscreen an everyday sunscreen for under makeup or even it doesn't have to be under makeup if you don't wear makeup this is still amazing but it, you know if you do like wearing makeup give this one a go if you haven't already okay this product i loved and like is morphe going broke what's gonna happen because i'm i'm quite worried because there are some things from morphe that i die for and i heard they're bankrupt but are they being bought out like what's going on how do they go from such high of highs to i i don't know i actually also wonder how do makeup companies survive there are so many billions of makeup companies but you know every influencer brings out a makeup line amazing but how do they all survive i just don't know <laughs> i just don't know if how they all survive with so much out there you know and then you've got your kylie cosmetics and all of those people that you would imagine would blow a lot of smaller competitors out of the water and then you've got your big houses of you know i don't know how it works but I'm sad because I really like Morphe. I really, really like their makeup brushes. They're inexpensive and good quality. I really, this is an eyebrow product. I really like it. And it was like an eyebrow putty that I used to just dip. It's all gone. I used to just dip in my brush, fill in my brows, use the spoolie. And it was great. So, and that was like, I think for a pack with the brush and with some other brow pencils and product it was like $30 for the whole kit I've since replaced it with the Anastasia one the um, brow dip but I honestly it's great but I just don't think there's much different so that's what I loved about Morphe it was good quality products for cheaper sort of prices and now I'm worried about their future and one thing I cannot live without is their makeup setting spray it's $26 and it is the best one ever it's a mist it's such a fine mist and it's just beautiful and it really just sets your makeup beautifully melts it all together makes it look really nice and lasting so anyway can you tell i'm a bit heartbroken about morphe look i don't think i need to be heartbroken i don't think it's going to close down but i'm just really sad for them because i really feel like they did so well um and to hear that they went bankrupt or whatever look I don't know the details. I truly don't know the details, but I hope they are okay because I really like their stuff. I buy it from Mecca, but that's the thing. You buy it from Mecca, but it is a sort of more affordable brand than a majority of the other brands at Mecca. So anyway, I went on Mecca to repurchase this and it wasn't there. That's why I got the Anastasia one. 
otherwise I would have got this again because I really liked it. So that was Brow Cream in Latte. It's a good one. Okay guys, now I have some little bits and pieces in here. Do you want me to go through these? These are all like samples and trial sizes. Should I just touch on them real quick? Because you might be curious. I haven't finished an entire product, but I've finished like little. Micellar water, everyone knows what micellar water does. I finished it, I used it, I liked it on the cotton rounds. I just think it freshens up the skin, makes it feel good. Yeah, we all know what micellar water does. Okay, this, I love this and I held on to this because I feel like I want to buy the full size. Pericone MD Face Finishing and Firming Moisturizer. My mum also got a sample of this in her Mecca order and she rang me and said, hey, have you tried... She goes, I've got this sample of this Pericone MD moisturizer. She goes, it is a And I'm like, oh my God, I have the same sample and it is phenomenal. Makes your skin feel different the next morning. Different, amazing, glowing. I'm going to buy it. It's about $93, I think, full size. But that sample sold me. A little lush, gorgeous face moisturizer. It was okay. Yeah. I used it, but it was okay. A oh, little eyebrow. This is the Hourglass Eyebrow um, Gel. I cannot for the life of me read that. That is so teeny tiny. Oh no, here we go. Arch. Uh, Arch Brow Soft Brunette. Anyway, it's by Hourglass. I bought the full size. It is a... Um, fibers for your eyebrows and i really like it in conjunction with the dip brow love it i put the dip brow in fill in the gaps and then go over with the fibers and sort of just makes your eyebrows look a bit more lush and fuller because you know getting older they're not as full anymore. okay a couple of little drunk elephant uh samples this one is a b hydra intensive hydration serum liked it cute Thought it was nice, pleasant. Eh, I'm not going to buy it. This one is a travel size, but I just wanted to try it. It's the A Passioni Retinol Cream by Junk Elephant. This I really liked. It is strong. It's not for babies. <laughs> um, it is really good. I will. I wanted to try it to see how it would go with my skin and consider buying the full size. That's why I bought the travel size. Um, I don't think I'm going to buy the full size just yet, but I did like it. So I don't know. Jury's out. It's, it didn't rock my world, but I thought it was good. Tingles a little. Um, yeah, didn't notice like massive changes or anything. So it's okay. That is it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been so good to be back. I hope I didn't waffle too much. I just felt like I had a lot of things to share with you guys and I appreciate you being here. Please hit subscribe if you like this video. Plenty more coming your way. I have them all planned out. Can't wait to share so many good things to come. And it's great to be back and ready to go for 2023. Thank you for your time. Have a good week, guys. Take care. Bye.